In this video, we are going to see how to make the cap of a plumber block. These are the details of the plumber block cap. And using these details, we will see how to make a 3D part in an Autodesk Inventor. Click on New, Inventor, choose Standard MM.IPT and then click on Create. Start 2D sketch and choose the XY plane. Since this is symmetric, first we are going to draw only the half profile and then we are going to mirror the other half. I am adding the dimension, it is 3 mm, 6 mm and this is 12 mm and the upper one is 10 mm, 6 mm, 12 mm and this one is 10 mm and the distance from this edge to this point is given as 43 mm I'm going to draw the arc and the radius of the arc is 19 mm And this distance is 44 mm, so it will be half of it. So that is 44 divided by 222. There is a one more arc of radius 36 mm. 36. Now I will draw the line, I will extend this line using extend option and make sure that these two coincide. And now we will click on finish sketch. Now I am going to extrude this profile. Since it is symmetric. I am going to extrude it symmetrically 36 mm. Now I will make this curves and a hole. Start with sketch and then choose this plane. First I am going to make the outer curve. Radius is 43. Center point arc, radius 43 mm, since I need to remove this much of ex extra material, I don't need to, uh, the profile needs to be a closed profile so as to remove this extra material. So I am drawing a random profile and then click on finish and we will use the extrude option and the output should be cut and I am going to make it through all and then click on ok. Now we will make a hole First, we will make the other curved part, click on start to sketch and again I am going to choose this plane. The distance from the center is given as 
62 by 2 that is 31 and the radius is 12 mm. I'm going to change back the view to wire and heater frame. I'll add the dimensions. This has 31 mm. It is 62 by 2 and the radius is 12 mm. Now the profile needs to be closed. So I am drawing a random profile again and then click on finish sketch. Now I will go to view and chain back to shaded. Now I will extrude and cut the material. I will cut the material in the opposite direction and then click on OK. Now we will make the hole for the on this surface using the hole option click on hole and we are going to make it concentric with this arc and the and the termination is through all and the diameter of the hole is 10.5 mm so and then click on ok And now we will make the other half of the cap using the option mirror. Now in the features select all the features which you have to mirror it and then click on mirroring plane and choose the plane about which it has to mirror and then click OK. And now we have to make this hole. So we will choose the profile again, this XY plane, we will change the view back to hidden wire, uh, wireframe and hidden edges and now we will sketch it. Bottom diameter is given as 3 mm, the top diameter is 6 mm and the distance from the top till the bottom half of the cylinder is 10 mm. This is one point five and this is three M. But this distance is given as ten M. Use the option trim. Since the surfaces are circular, 
I'm going to extend it a little bit more so that the hole cuts pr properly. Now we'll click on finish and choose the option revolve. So that the full profile. And then the axis will choose this profile, this axis. And we'll use the option cut. And then click on OK. Now we'll change back the view to shaded with edges. And now the hole has been made. And now we'll assign the material to it. It's given that it is made of cast iron. So to assign the material, click on file, I, I properties, and then click physical, cast iron, apply and close. Now we'll save this part as cap.